Oh, we're turning up at the Oude Maas. Let me screw that one up. Old Maze. <laughs> everybody welcome back to motorvlog nl my name is roy um, um, i'm doing this video in english um, because i have something planned for the near future and i want to bring that out on video for a broader public than only for the dutch public so that's why i'm basically practicing doing this in english and yeah i'm gonna screw up <laughs> This is the first uh, ride I'm going to do with uh, this setup. Uh, I have a new uh, action cam. The one you are viewing towards me is my old action cam. It's a cheap piece of shit, but it works. And on my helmet I have the Insta360 ONE RS. Um, thanks for using your blinker. Another rider. Like I was saying, and on my helmet I have the Insta360 uh, ONE RS action cam. And uh, I bought this cam because um, yeah, I needed a better cam for the things I'm gonna do in the upcoming weeks, months. Gonna see if I'm gonna can pass through. Take this pot. And for uh, the non-Dutchies uh, on this channel, um, filtering is legal here in the Netherlands. There are some concerns about it, but um, you have to adhere to some rules. But it is legal. I'm riding uh, the good old 30 year old Honda ST 1100 Pan European. I have been having some trouble with it uh, lately. Um, the tires need uh, replacing, and when I've done that, the valves of the tires need replacing. And I have a small problem with the lighting on the front of this bike, because this is going to be a short ride. I don't want to get stuck in the dark. Thank you. This is the test drive for me to um, see if the video and audio is good now. Because with the other cam, the audio was just terrible. <laughs> A lot of wind noise. Oh, I love these new tires. I mounted the Bridgestones BT31. First time on these tires, but uh, till this far, I'm loving them. I'm a, am a bit weary about the handling of the bike, um, but it has nothing to do with the tires, I think. More to do with uh, the suspension on the back. I think that has to get changed. 
quite fast. Or it's just too soft. That's also a possibility. I haven't looked at it yet. But as long as I keep that in mind, I should be okay. Actually, I wanted to go up there. I come here quite often, and there is a bridge over there. You can get up there, there's a, a bridge going over the highway. But I'm not sure how to get there with the bike. It should be possible. I don't think that's possible with the bike or... Let's see over there. Hmm. It isn't a bicycle lane, but... The red one is a bicycle lane, the grey one is a pedestrian area, so I'm not allowed to go there with the bike. Hmm, too bad. Well, Any other person would have gone up there. But one of the main focuses of my channel is to show people that motorcyclists well, aren't always the guys wheeling with 140 kilometers an hour between traffic. But most of us actually enjoy riding the bike. Visiting new places, old places, revisiting them. A lot of non-biker friends of mine always tell me that when they think of a biker, they either think of a guy on a Harley Davidson with a leather jacket and a big chain uh, on their belt, <laughs> or they think on guys on jigsaws wheeling about between traffic, high speeds, doing all kinds of dangerous shit. But that's just a minority of motorcyclists. Most of us, yeah, we ride our bikes, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the bike, the sound. And some like me are talking into their helmets against nobody. And that's what we call motorcycle vloggers. <laughs> it's busy here.
Mm, too bad. Thank you. I don't want to get stuck between uh, behind that uh, the van. I never took this road before. Let's see where it leads. Normally I go straight ahead, but I know there's a a road here, and I never took it. Awesome houses, by the way. On the water. The reason I'm testing this kind of road is for the wind. If the microphone and the GoPro and the Insta360 can handle these kind of winds without screwing up the noise, the sound, I'm going to be very, very happy. At low speeds it's okay, but when I put on higher speeds, 50 kilometers an hour and over, it just get noisy. The Canisse Grinde. Why do you try to pronounce that in English? Carnisse Grinde. We have a gr. Hmm. I quite like this road. I do like fresh french fries. I don't like it when they drive in front of me. So. Absolutely no idea where I'm ending up. My guess is that's going to be the A4 highway. I'm going underneath it. Okay. I have a small idea where I'm at. Hey! Riding a motorcycle is part of being, is most of it is exploring. Ooh. And finding out. Oh! There were speed bumps. <laughs> and just generally bad roads. Yeah, this is the A4. Going towards Zeeland. I actually never drove here. <laughs> this is fun. This wasn't the plan, by the way. <laughs> Water cleaning installation, I guess. I don't have a navigation system on this bike. <laughs> Eventually I'm gonna need one. So, Vredepolder. Uh, let's check out the parking lot at Vredepolder. Let's see what it's all about. Maybe some awesome views or something, something to do. But it looks more like a park with a restaurant, something. No. Oh, we're turning up at the Oude Maas. Let me screw that one up. Old Maze. 
There's a river that's uh, running uh, past the Rotterdam. No, this is the end of the line. I have water today. Uh, well, nothing more to see here. Let's head back to the road. Yep. Oh. We. Oui. Misplaced my foot. <laughs> I want to see which direction. I think it's Herjans Dam, but I'm not sure. Yeah. So if you go straight here, they're going towards Herjans Dam, small place in uh, South of Holland. This is bicycle uh, routes. But well, I'm not going through to Heijonsdam. I'm going back towards Barendrecht and then back towards Spijkenisse. If I can pull myself out of here. Ah, the building I saw there was uh, the sauna. Never knew it was here. I knew it was here, but not that it was here, here. I was planning on taking the road to the right here and go back uh, over the dijk. Yeah, we call it dijk in Holland, in Dutch. I don't know what the English word is, I think dike. Dike, water wall, how do you want to call it? It is quite windy. I'm gonna do it anyway. When I get to my destination in a few months, I will probably will be driving a lot of roads like this one. With a lot more wind, rain, debris, idiots. So I might as well get used to it. slow down quite a bit because the wind is raging up here and every time a car passes me it throws me away for about half a meter so maybe going this route wasn't the biggest greatest idea after all getting a little bit stormy but I am in the open so we intend to get blow a little bit faster and harder
but then again Ooh, so I have to work for it ago with a much lighter bike but it looks like I have more trouble riding it now with this one than with that bike and then I daily drove this road ahead so we have to slow down to be able to fight myself through the wind blows every time the car passes me and especially vents and large cars give me trouble because the wind is coming directly from the side choice by going towards home because I don't know if you can see it on the on the camera but the sky is getting blacker and blacker down in the south for your orientation that is the south and I'm going west police car coming The funny part of driving this route and doing this vlog, if it ever makes it to the internet due to the sound, I had totally no plan whatsoever. Just get on the bike, put on the camera and see where you're going and what you're going to talk about. And the main goal was keep talking to see if the audio would be uh, usable and normally I should would take the road straight ahead across the roundabout but due to the wind I'm not gonna do that because the road I'm gonna get onto there is even smaller than the road I just went on I never show you this bike by the way so Let's go here.
it's dirty. Well, this is the bike. Honda ST 1100 Pan European. The bike is about 30 years old. It's not the most beautiful bike. Honestly, it's the worst looking bike ever. But hey, it's mine. <laughs> village uh, in the area where I live. It's called Portugal, not Portugal. That's a country near uh, next to Spain. This is Portugal, double A at the end. It's a nice little town, not too big. I always like cruising through this town, uh, this the town village. It's not really a town, it's more like a village. I really need a gear shift indicator on this bike. The Honda Pan European is so smooth that I can't seem to figure out in which uh, gear I'm at. Can I take this one? Let me see you the old center of Portugal. If I'm not mistaken, I can take this road through the center. It's not big, small, two streets, three streets. Damn, wrong way. Ah. Well, let's go around it. Here, het wapen van Portugal. I take you around the center and then come back here and then go down there. <laughs> And we're back. It was a Kawasaki Versus 650, I believe. I like the green bike. Love it. It's like an army green color. <laughs> Don't think I ever saw that one before. Uh, that color before. Not on the Kawasaki Versus, that is.
the old church and cemetery. Just for the fun of it. Do mind at your speed, it's 50 here. And these things on the side of the road are expensive. And believe me, I know. Metro going towards the center of Rotterdam. Metro station. Well, I'm going to end the video here. Once I cross this T junction. I'm gonna end the video here. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. You can use the red button down below. And uh, if you uh, click the notification bell, you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video and when I give you a video update on my plans for the near future. And that should be coming soon, depending on how this video went. Now, go! Don't make up your own rules. It's A. Annoying. And B. Confusing for other people. See you in the next video. Bye!